What defines an architect's legacy? Is it just how a building looks? Or are performance and durability part of the equation? Today I'm talking with Chris and Jody Lomer Giddens. And they are both architects that comprise the firm LG Squared. They also designed this net zero energy home here in Serenby, Georgia. And by net zero, I mean it creates as much energy as it uses. So the, the truth is that architecture is a lot more than just aesthetics. But I think sometimes people think about it is that's it. Yeah. What else is there to think about? Well, it's the first thing you see. But there's so much more that goes into the, to that behind that that as, as architects, we have to be thinking about that. We have to plan for that or else it, it becomes an afterthought and then some of the, the design that we develop is sacrificed. If we want to maintain the integrity of the design and to do that we have to think about it you know, behind the surfaces. And that's when you bring in the idea of building science. That's right, and building science is sort of a, it's, it's kind of a silent hero in long-term durability of a home. So we really approach the design early on to take into account the building science aspects so that it all comes together beautifully in the end as well as function really great. As architects, we design everything. We design the door handles, we design the air barrier. So that's, that's the idea is that this really isn't, shouldn't be a separate thing. It's architecture. Building science is a component of architecture, just like interior design and structural design. All those fit into the architecture of the home. So what are the things that, that you find yourself having to educate homeowners on the most? I think there's definitely a stigma about making a house more green necessarily costs more. Sometimes it does cost more to get to a certain level of performance, but it also costs less to then operate that house. There are lots of simple techniques in framing and insulation that can be detailed into a set of construction drawings that don't cost more. It's just a change in technique. What they need to think about is the fact that they're exchanging that upfront cost for lifetime savings. And you actually get more home for your money because your money is going towards your mortgage, which is your biggest investment, and less outgo per month on day-to-day -day cost. A home is one of the biggest investments we'll make in our lifetime. And as consumers, we owe it to ourselves to research that process as thoroughly as we do when we buy a car, what school we're going to send our kids to. And as architects, we can help the consumer through that process. Well, here's the final answer. An architect's legacy has a lot to do with happy homeowners. And yes, aesthetics are still important, but so is durability, performance, and efficiency. But ultimately, a home is a place where life happens. And so livability and lovability are important factors as well. Designing and building a holistic home, that's just another easy way to be green. And it's a whole lot easier when you work with an architect. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.